good afternoon i know it seems like morning i'm like really getting my day started but it's actually afternoon i procrastinated well no not really i didn't procrastinate i actually um woke up at three in the morning stayed up from three to like six and then went back to sleep woke up at like nine then got ready to post yesterday's video that i filmed i'm actually pretty surprised on how many people said that they relate to my situation um i didn't know what to expect from it i knew there would be some type of like hate or like negative feelings towards me i guess in a sense to some people's eyes complaining about me being pregnant and you know having all this type of anxiety only thing i can do is be honest with myself and be open and to explain the realities of struggle of struggle with pregnancy like what i have already like 30 something 40 comments on that video on people who basically are telling me that they relate and they feel the same as that way and i kind of like to show different sides of things now i realize that showing different sides of things that are generally maybe pleasant when it comes to pregnancy is it's going to have a negative outlook. I don't know if this is making sense, but I don't care how people feel, but I don't want the overall gist of my pregnancy to be looked at like, oh, she hates being pregnant. Like she's ungrateful for being pregnant. And no, I'm definitely not ungrateful for being pregnant. Like I'm very aware of my blessings and i don't really have to say this at all but i'm just saying it for this one time but that doesn't mean that i can't be honest if i'm feeling some type of way like i'm entitled to what i feel and even if someone tell me not to feel a certain type of way doesn't make me feel it any less <laughs> like i think people are getting misconceptions of what things should be like towards pregnancy and i think that's the reason why a lot of people do not speak out anything but happiness when it comes to pregnancy because i feel like people generally attack those people like things suck because that's just the reality of it like that's like going to a job that you hate every single day which many people do and you stay there because of the bigger picture which is the blessing of a paycheck and that's the same thing in this situation like i'm pregnant and i'm going through the term all of pregnancy but it's all worth it for my baby it's not like i'm really passionate about it it's not that deep but it just i don't know like i started after i posted a video i started like watching um other people's videos about it and it just kind of got my mind rolling like how society makes people feel like I, I i can get why there's unfortunately a lot of people who commit suicide because they feel like they're not heard or they feel like they just can't be real with themselves because of judgment and things like that that is the main reason why i feel that i naturally say the things that other people don't want to say because i feel like somebody out there can relate to what it is that i am saying but you just gotta stay strong as well i'm talking to myself self you gotta stay strong stay true to yourself stay true to who you are and move forward so i just want people to know that at the end of the day that i'm okay i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna feel bad again because i will <laughs> more than likely i will nine times out of ten i will <laughs> but i know that will change a part of the things that i didn't mention in that video that i kind of want to touch on today a part of the reasons that i think i was having or am having sadness or being emotional but i've been having a lot of anxiety about potentially going back to work before i got pregnant one of the main things that me and david has always talked about and if you see my q a that we filmed today we kind of talked about whether i'm going back to work and stuff like that and he mentioned him not caring if i go back to work and even prior to that conversation for a long time i've talked about like hey you know when the baby comes i want to stay home for at least a year because with me working such long hours at my job i am uncomfortable with the idea of putting my child into daycare for like 12 hours a day so 
I don't know. I've been having a lot of anxiety about just thinking about like maybe maybe just do it like there's a lot of people that do it and the only reason why i'm debating about it because i know deep down inside i'm not gonna say i know i feel like david wants me to work that kind of stresses me out because it's not something that i thought about because we we had a game plan we talked about it this is what it is and it just makes me feel like well dang maybe i should look into work when i think about going back to work i'm like Man, 12 hour shifts in my baby in daycare at three months old. I don't like that, you guys. So that was a part of my stress or is a part of my stress because I don't want to put too much stress on him. But I don't want to miss out on the important things of my child's life. So obviously we're going to have to have more conversations about this and what it is that he truly feels so that I can feel comfortable and we not have to think about this when the baby get here but it's something that has been in the back of my mind he hasn't said anything recently this is just literally what's in my head and what my assumptions are and what I'm feeling so <laughs> if you have done the same thing are you if you're in the same case and scenario if you have to be gone from your child for like 11 or 12 hours a day for a newborn or infant i guess at that point um how did you deal with that but yeah i just wanted to talk about some of that stuff and i am getting ready to start on some more diys let me get up out of this position because this game boring <laughs> all right so let's talk about where we left off yesterday so yesterday i spray painted the chair which is this chair right here sorry if it's really dark but if i open the blinds it's gonna be like oversaturated but i painted the chair and I gave it it's two coats. So I think it's looking pretty good, but might gotta do some touch-ups, but I'm thinking not. Cause if I put the moss on there good enough, I may not have to do much. So this is what I'm gonna try to tackle today. I did do a couple other things. I don't know if I showed this, but I did spray paint this. This is just, uh, I guess a container. It had old flowers in it, but I plucked them out and put them in the corner. And I figured I can use this for like maybe a dessert tray. So I might put some moss on top of here and then stick like cake pops or something like that inside of that to be on the dessert table. As well as I cut out these um, cardboard kind of circle things. So I cut this out with the intent on making like putting the same um, moss on this and using this as so you see how i have this on my table so there's gold and then this is charger a plate and a napkin well the plates that people are going to use for the baby shower is going to be like clear so i figured that if i do four of these and four of this with moss on it because i use this to uh trace out that maybe that'll be cute too I don't know, so see how that works out. I also put moss over this because this could be another dessert thing and set on the display table or whatnot at a lower level. So I put moss on that as well. So the objective of today is to put moss on this chair. <laughs> So let's start off there, see how that goes, and then we can move forward accordingly. Okay. So I'm back in my giant sandbox, but I have put the chair right over here. I should turn this. I really should. Hold on. All right. So I think that's a little bit better so y'all can actually see what I'm doing so I'm about to do the same thing that you see me kind of do yesterday I got my little craft bond and I'm gonna spray this on and grab a bunch of this moss or whatever I really should put my stomach up because I just put all on it. it's gonna stick all to my stomach but try to grab a bunch of it and start sticking it onto the chair now the one I had yesterday I had uh I was able to take it off because it wasn't screwed in when I bought it, but this is not the case. And I don't want to take this one apart because I won't know how to put it back. And plus this part I can't take off. So it's like pointless taking this off and then, yeah, it's just too much. So we're just gonna uh, do our best to make this look good 
and see what happens but i'm gonna do the seat first and then do up here next because i probably gotta sit up or stand up for this and i ain't ready for that so let's kind of get to that while i am listening to some more youtube videos it's both of their channel they both they both still being petty and they both gonna continue to be petty chrissy's gonna continue to be petty because she wants to stay relevant I'm literally just throwing a pile of stuff on here. <laughs> it looks messy because it is. It took a a minute of mess to get to the perfection I got with the other chair. All right, so it is a little bit later and this is what the chair is looking like so far. Sorry for the yellow lighting, but it is what it is. So I'm kind of laid the chair down and this is what it's looking like so far. So I crunched up a lot of pieces and I really got to like dump this, but I've been taking some scissors which if I can find them and as they're getting really tall I'm just snipping them like that so I'm snipping them so they won't be really long and let them fall off and kind of trim in the side like this and see if we can get that kind of flat feeling because this is semi flat but I have a couple pieces on this that I have to redo before I can start doing what I did in yesterday's video and patting it down and spraying the top of it and squeezing them down. But I have to dump this over before I get there. But yeah, this is what the chair is looking like. And I'm going to throw some flowers over this and I think it's going to look good. So I'm super excited. But this is my chair and that is his chair over there. And yeah, so I do think it's going to be it for this video. I think I made it long enough or whatnot, but David should be here soon. But if you take too long, child, I'm going to actually make something to eat and then call it a night. So until next time, you guys. All right. Bye. Oh,